I just started transferring a lot without my transfer board onto the bed. So, but it should. Let me get a better angle. There, so you can see the chair and everything. So, I just, I keep both feet on the footrest um, for support and to push on. And I have one arm on your side and I just kind of go bounce and I just, I lean forward a lot with my weight on my wrists and just kind of think to myself, lift and tuck stomach, tuck my stomach. So the more that I can, with the blanket on the bed, it's harder. So, and the chair moved <laughs> during that attempt. So that could have ended very badly had I kept trying. I'm going to get a better um, position going here. I could see that my thigh was also going to catch. So, risky stuff, risky stuff. So my thigh is a little bit more on top of here. And since um, the blanket is in the way, I might just push here. Like I could just go like this and make sure that my thigh doesn't get caught on this corner and um, lift like this. So I just throw my butt over. You know, especially if I don't want the chair to move, I kind of try to keep my hands closer to my thighs. So that was getting back on the chair and then go, let me go back to the bed and show you my little pop. One, two, pop, over. And the chair moves a little. So I just pull myself as much as possible. My legs are hooked, so that kind of brings the chair a little closer when I pull. So that's my new transfers without my board, which is pretty exciting to me because I'm working my core, <laughs> doing tucks, which is really awesome because I'm a low quad, so pretty exciting.